about a month ago, I sent out inquiries to people from different countries who work in women's soccer, asking them what the state is like where they're living. First off, I need to apologize to those people because I told them then that I would make a video much sooner than I did. But, you know, better late than ever, I'm hoping that they'll forgive me. <laughs> so at this point, you know, it's pretty well known that women's soccer in general in the Balkans just isn't really in a good position. We've seen so far, especially from our answers, that even those who know something about women's football know, you know, just the fact that it's not doing very well. However, there are countries that have, you know, really worked at developing women's football and seem to be doing well. Jean-Luc from Malta told us that, you know, in their country, women's football has become somewhat of a movement and that in recent years, it's really progressed. So that's some good news, at least. In the Czech Republic, however, Svatopluk Macek, who is a trainer and manager in the team FC Slovačko, mentioned something about coaches. Coaches that are really good tend to go into men's soccer because, you know, just the fact that men's soccer is uh, better paid than women's soccer from the coach standpoint. So if a really good coach is, is trying to make a career and really make a profit out of being a coach, he just tends to change his direction because what would he do in women's soccer if it's not profitable that is something that happens to a lot of players as well except we can't change our gender and go into men's soccer we just have to stop playing so i asked random people in zagreb what they know about women's soccer whether they know that there's a women's national team whether they know that there are clubs whether they even know that girls play and here are the answers that i got uh, reci mi što znaš o ženskom nogometu? Uh, Apsolutno ništa. Osim <laughs> Mace Maradone. <laughs> oh, I to je nešto. Uh, jel znaš da ima ženska nogometna liga? Uh, ne znam. A znam da ima Dinamo i ovi najbolji, ali osim toga ne znam da ima niže. Si ikad gledao utakmice ženskog nogometa? A nisam baš, ne. nije mi to zabavno. Trenirao sa curama? A jesmo nešto malo igrali. Kako, kako ti se čine cure koji igraju nogomet? Pa normalno, mislim. Ima boljih, ima loših, ovisi. Misliš što bi se trebalo napraviti da više ljudi se uključe da bi gledali ženske nogomet? Pa ne znam, treba to šta znam. Promovirat nešto. U Hrvatskoj toga nema, možda u nekim drugim zemljama gdje žene su prvakinje, recimo tako. Nešto je popularnije, kod nas teško. Da li znaš išto o ženskom nogometu? <laughs> Baš i ne. Baš i ne, jel? čula za žensko nogometnu utakmicu u Hrvatskoj? Mor- Jesam za reprezentaciju? Pa znam da postoji, ali da bi sad znala neku curu koja igra nogomet, ako imenu je prezmiju, ne. Evo, ja sam Helena Hrcigonja Molten, dobar dan! Drago mi je! <laughs> ja igram nogomet, igrala sam i za reprezentaciju. A, dobro, to je nešto, da znate da i postoji, neki to, i to ne znaju. A, da li misliš da... Šta bi se možda trebalo dogoditi da bi se ženski nogomet više promovirao u Hrvatskoj, pošto većinu ljudi ne znaju ni da postoje, ni da cure igraju, ni ništa? Pa definitivno bi trebalo medijski biti malo više popraćeno. Pa ne znam stvarno. A i da možda nu, muški nogometaši isto ne govore to malo malo važavaju. Uh-huh. Ne znam, zadnje baš što sam... Što mi onako ostalo pamće je bilo kad je Ibrahimović popljuvala ženski nogomet. <laughs> Tako da ona, mislim, to je isti sport. Ne bi trebalo proti toga govoriti. Similar to what she just said, an answer that we got from Vinkovci about women's soccer in their region also mentioned that you know, women's soccer is missing that financial aspect, promotion, and and help from the media. And that's exactly why people don't know anything about it. However, I play for a Slovenian team, Ženega Pomorje Beltinci, and the conditions there are a little bit better than they are than than they are in most clubs here in Croatia or in Slovenia in general, because our club really tries hard to promote. They try hard, you know, with a website, with a Facebook page, with uh, live feed during live feeds during our games, with pictures. You know, not most clubs don't have, don't use those kind of materials to help promote. Other than that, we also do a lot of work with younger age groups, which is something that's really important. And I also uh, focused on that in a previous video that it's really important to make sure that young girls start playing uh, at, at the point when you can have an effect on their coordination, on their balance, on their, you know, abilities so they can become better players later on, right? 
So that's something that is, I guess, is a positive thing because as the first place team in Slovenia, uh, Pomerie Beltinci does work with younger girls and they do try to promote. Someone else from Slovenia, however, also turned our attention to some of the bad things that still go on in women's soccer in Slovenia. Marko in Slovenia, who runs a Facebook page called Ženski Nogomet. By the way, kudos to you. I really like your page and I'm glad that you're promoting women's soccer. He says that the traditional mindset of Slovenia is still that women shouldn't be playing soccer. It's sad, but that's just how it is. That's, you know, realistically the state. So we need to work together to try and change that collectively, right? So if you have any of your own ideas about what we can do to help that, don't be afraid to let me know. Other than that, in upcoming Hello Offsides videos, I'm going to show you or tell you more information about what women's soccer is like is in different countries. Later.